Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix 2XKO closed beta, crashing, crashing at a startup, crashing to desktop, not launching or won't launch issue, not loading or stuck on loading screen, freezing problem or black screen issue on PC. So without wasting any time, let's jump to the fixes. The first fix is to simply restart your PC. So click on Windows icon and then click on power menu and then select restart option. And after your PC restart, then launch the 2XKO closed beta game and check if your problem is solved or not. If not, then move to the second fix. Second fix is to launch the game in offline mode. So try this trick. So launch the game in offline mode from the file directory first. Then while that is crashed in the background, launch the game from the client simultaneously. So to do so, go to the game installation folder. And when you are on the game installation folder, double click this offline launcher and launch the game. And when it get crashed in the background, then go to the right client and then click the play button from here. It will fix the issue. If not, then go to this third solution. The third solution is to start VGC service. So in Windows search type services and open it. Now here look for VGC, right click on VGC, select properties, then a shutter type select automatic and then click on start, wait for it, it will take some time and once it completed, click on apply, then ok and then you can launch the game and check. Fourth solution is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder or try running the game in the compatibility mode. So go to the game installation folder, open live folder, then double click the lion exe file and check if this fix or not. If not, then open lion folder, open binaries folder, open win64 folder. Now double click lion win64 shipping exe file and check if that work or not. If not, then right click on it, then go to properties. Now go to compatibility tab, tick mark run this program as an administrator, hit apply, ok and then launch the game from the game installation folder from here itself and check if that fixed the issue or not. If not, then in the compatibility tab, tick mark run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8, hit apply, ok then launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then from the drop down select Windows 7, hit apply, ok and then launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then click disable full screen optimization option as well, hit apply ok and then launch the game and check now if still your problem is not fixed then untick all these boxes hit apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video fifth solution is to close the conflicting or unnecessary program so close steam epic games or other games launcher then disconnect external usb drive mouse disconnect additional joystick controllers multiple monitors connected to pc and then launch the game and check. Unplug the Logitech or Threat Master Racing Wheel and the task for MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, HW Info, Razer Synapse or MSI Dragon Center from Task Manager. Close all of your tab to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Sixth solution is to disable overlay. So disable NVIDIA overlay, open NVIDIA GeForce Experience setting general. Turn off in-game overlay. Similarly disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as Discord, GeForce Experience, Nvidia Shadow Play Overlay, AMD Overlay and then you can launch the game and check. Seventh solution is to Windows security user allow the game exe file to the control folder access and firewall. To do so in Windows search type Windows security and open it. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app. Then click on browse all apps. Then go to the game installation folder, open 2xko folder, open live folder, select lion exe file, click open to add it to the list. Again click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, select offline launcher and click open to add it to the list. Again click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now this time open lion folder, binaries folder, win64 folder, select lion win64 shipping exe file and click open to add it to the list. Now go back, click on firewall and network protection, click allow an app through firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and browse to the game installation folder, open 2xko folder, open live folder, 
select line exe file and then click on open click on add and after adding it make sure both private and public is ticked mark then again click on allow another app browse select offline launcher exe file click open click on add make sure both private and public is ticked mark then again click on allow another app browse open line folder open binaries folder open win64 folder select line win64 shipping exe file click open click on add and after adding it make sure both private and public is ticked mark then click on ok to save changes and then you can launch the game from here and check if a problem is solved or not if not then follow the fix it allow to xko through antivirus program or disable antivirus for a while so if you are having any third party antivirus program such as avast komodo evg kaspersky norton mccafe bitdefender then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well or you can simply turn off your antivirus program for a while and then launch the game and check and later on you can turn on your antivirus program now nine solution is to update graphic card driver so update your graphic card driver and then launch the game and check if that doesn't work then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver so if you're having nvidia graphic card driver then go to nvidia website if you're having amd graphic card driver then go to amd website and if you're having intel graphic card driver then go to the intel website links are given in video description so i am showing the example of nvidia graphic card driver now once you are on the nvidia website select your version of graphic card driver from here then click on find and the latest version is 581.29 you have to install this one game ready driver so click on view click on download and once this exe file get downloaded then run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click ok you will see this screen click on agree and continue then select custom advanced option select this custom advanced option then click on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then hit next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done restart your pc once and then launch the game and check now 10 solution is to install visual c++ files so go to this microsoft official website scroll down download both x86 and x64 version and install both of them one by one so first click on x64 version now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and then install it now click on x86 version now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and then install it now after installing both the x86 and x64 version you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not if not then last solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game so simply uninstall the game from the pc then restart your pc once and then reinstall the game to the local drive ssd drive and if you have already installed the game in the c drive earlier then try installing it to external drive ssd drive and then you can launch the game and check so by this way you can fix to xko closed beta crashing crashes a startup crashing to desktop not launching or won't launch problem not loading stuck on loading screen issue or freezing or black screen issue on pc so that's all for this video if this video helped you then please like and share this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel to get the latest updates thank you